Hi everyone, welcome to this GeoGebra session and we'll do CAS 2D 3D together and then some activities. So let's start with a CAS calculator and this is the recording part. App downloads and you will see different applications from GeoGebra and one of them is CAS. So when we discuss about CAS, it is actually uh, a different kind of application which uh, we maths teachers can definitely use um, technically it is for the college students but uh, we can make use of it at least for our classes so I'm gonna hit start on the CAS calculator so when you uh, see this uh, you can see there are different features which we can use from CAS and uh, uh, for example, you can see here, I can plot some graphs and uh, I can see some of the expansions of a binomial things. Uh, look at this, 2x minus 1 over 5 to the power 4. So it's it's uh, super easy. You just need to, let me just show you again. If I delete this, if I delete this as well, this was the factor, tangent. So here, I'm going to just type expand and you will see the option expand ex expression so we can actually click on the second option so here you can enter the expression any kind of binomial for example x plus 1 over x and then to the power of 5 or 6 whichever way you want so let's just hit enter and you can see that you have your expansion already with you so this way uh, teachers actually can use to uh, check students work or students can also verify their answers using this particular uh, calculator you can also factor so if you choose first option factor and then second option from here factor polynomial you can enter the polynomial as you can say x square plus uh, let's say 14x plus 40 look so you can see two factors x plus 4 and x plus 10 on my right hand side you can also see the graph so you can verify with these values root uh, negative 4 and 0 and when you click on these three dots you will you can see there are many options which you can explore click on this look table of values special points you can add a label if you want or you you want to duplicate the input you can so first three are really really important table of values if i click on table of values and look it's going to ask me table of values from which particular value let's say start from negative 11 and let's go to five step one and click ok now I have a table of values. So X and Y, negative 11, 7, negative 10, 0. And if I continue, I can see all my values here. So this is the way how you can use CAS uh, calculator. Let's try some more options. Uh, you want to fig uh, figure out the differentiation of any function. So you can type your function, let's say F of X equals to X cube minus 5x plus 2 right and now you want to differentiate this function so just type derivative so when you type derivative it's gonna actually give you uh, some options of differentiation and then you can choose one of them so I'm gonna choose derivative expression and you can have your expression as fx look so derivative of fx is 2x plus 14 okay no this is not correct maybe oh because uh, I have already defined fx so let me just change this delete and here you can see 2x plus 14 because my fx was defined twice so it was by my mistake so or what you can do just type derivative and then type expression so let's say x cube plus 5x minus 4x right and then you can see the 3x square plus 4 if I change this let's say 
x minus 1. Look, so if I change the third component 4 times x power negative 1, and you can see the derivative. The other thing is, you can also find gent. So I'm just using tangent, number and function. So my number is 2, and my function is f. So you can see it is going to give me equation of tangent. So and we can verify that. Look, I have equation of tangent at 2. Let's just change this 2 to negative 4. Yeah. Now you can see the tangent at negative 4 to this particular function x squared plus 14x plus 40 is 6x plus 24. And you can verify this function from this. Look, if I zoom in and then you can see at this particular point I have my tangent line. If you calculate manually 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 14 6 right so 6 is the slope or gradient of this particular function so this way you can use tangent or the other things as well for example integral so you can find out integral of a function or you can let's say you want to find out the area between the curve using integration you can do that as well so I'm just showing you the integral of x squared plus 3 so here you get the integration half of one third of x cubed plus 3x plus c1 so this is only possible in CAS calculator not uh, in other uh, applications of GeoGebra so I hope that helps you please keep on exploring question thank you let's jump to the next bit